it tells the Facebook algorithm that you as a seller are serious about selling whatever you're selling. What's up guys, it's Tony with 4Money. On this episode, I wanna to talk to you about the strategies that I use to convert sales on the Facebook marketplace when they ask the most obvious question, is this available? Let's do it. All right, I need some room for this one. If you ever bought something on the Facebook marketplace, you know that there's a default question you can ask the seller is this available? And it's kind of a way to connect the seller and the buyer with one simple button. As a seller, when I get the question from a potential buyer, is this available? And to me, I'm thinking, well, it's posted, no kidding, it's available. I used to get annoyed, but you know what? It's a way of them cracking the door open. Now it's your job to swing that door fully open and convert that sale. Now, if somebody asks you, is this available? And you respond with yes or no, you might as well not respond at all because you are not capitalizing on their interest. Respond with something other than generic. It tells the Facebook algorithm that you as a seller are serious about selling whatever you're selling. And if somebody asks you a question that's not a default question, like they actually type it out, you better capitalize on that because that is actual interest. Do not respond with a generic yes. See description because you're pretty much telling them, I don't wanna sell you my item, okay? Capitalize on that. If they type out a full question, you better type out a full response if you're serious about selling whatever you posted. So the strategy I use to convert sales on the Facebook marketplace is to capitalize on a potential buyer's FOMO. That is the fear of missing out. All right, now picture this. You go to a garage sale, okay? You're a shopper. You're the only person there in the entire garage sale. You have free reign to every single item. You see a really cool item, okay? Here's a few things. One, yes, it's available. Two, maybe the price is pretty good because you're at a garage sale. Three, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. But the fourth thing that is lacking in that scenario is that there's nobody else interested in it because you're the only person, okay? There is no FOMO because you can walk around for two or three minutes and keep an eye on that item and nobody's gonna pick it up. Now let's change the scenario a bit. You show up to a garage sale and there's a hundred people, all right? And there's five to 10 people surrounding one item. And it looks like an item you think you need. I'm gonna use a bike in this instance. And one, yes, it's available. Two, the price is probably pretty good because you're at a garage sale. Three, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. And four, there's a bunch of people around it. So you've got that instant FOMO. You've got the fear of missing out on getting that item. Now, how do we translate that into the Facebook marketplace, okay? Because when somebody asks you, is this available? They're not surrounded by a bunch of other potential buyers. It's just you and them, okay? So they ask you, is this item available? If you respond with yes, that's like them going to this empty garage sale, seeing an item, asking the item the question, the item responds, and then it's like, yeah, it's available. Okay, I'm gone. Recreate that scenario at the garage sale where there's a ton of people, but I only do this with pure honesty. Here's what I do to recreate this busy garage sale mentality. One, they ask, is this available? I respond with, here we go. Yes, it's available, but my price is pretty good. I don't think it will last that long, okay? Now this creates a sense of urgency in their head, okay? Not always is this gonna work, but it at least gets the ball rolling. Where if you respond with just yes, then they'll just not look at the response and move on. So now when a second person asks you, is this available, you say, yes, my price is pretty good. I don't think it'll last that long. There are other people interested in it, okay? Now this tells the person, okay, I've got to act now if I really want the item. If they don't act now, they're gonna lose on it. Or maybe in the first place, they never really wanted it. All right, now here's another tactic you can roll on to the back of that one. Look, yes, it's available. My price is pretty good. There's other people interested in it. I don't think it'll last long. Here we go. I will let you know if somebody else gets here first or prepays before you and I can meet. Now this is asking the potential buyer to prepay without asking them to prepay. Does it work all the time? No, but if somebody goes and looks at your seller profile and sees that you have a ton of good reviews, bunch of five stars, they might be more willing to send you a prepayment. So what this does is it creates a further sense of urgency where, hmm, I don't have time right now to go meet this guy to buy the item, 
but I can send him a prepayment. When they crack open that door, kick it open. Convert that sale. They already found your item. Capitalize on it. All right, guys. Well, that's basically it. Just to kind of sum up what we talked about today, recreate that garage sale scenario. Get that FOMO up to the roof. Make sure that that buyer, if they're actually interested in your item, that you capitalize on it, okay? Make sure they know that other people are interested in it. If you have 50 people responding to you and all you say is yes, 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 for all they know, they are just the first person who asks and thinks, ah, I'll come back later for it. You know what? If somebody asks you a question, capitalize on it, kick that door open, convert that sales. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I appreciate you stopping by. See you next time.